Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. We have an updated election map according to DeseretNews.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Yes, Deseret News is polling from different sources. Today's source they are using is the New York Times. We are going to fill in that beautiful map according to the Deseret News' New York Times polls that were conducted yesterday. Let's fill in that map. The Blues, Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, the uh, second district of Nebraska, Illinois, New York, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, D.C., and Virginia are all blue for Kamala Harris. Coming in hot with the red ticket is Donald J. Trump, who has Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, most of Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, most of Florida, South Carolina, and the second district of Maine are all red for Donald J. Trump. Blues are for Kamala Harris, Timothy Walls, and Democrats. Red are for Donald J. Trump, J.D. Vance, Hillbilly Eulogy, and Republicans. So that leaves Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. The swing state, battleground state, the up-in-the-air deciding states in this election. Currently, with these states filled in blue and red, that gives Kamala Harris the victory at 226 to Donald J. Trump's loss at 219 for the 2024 election. But let's fill in these swing and battleground states for Donald J. Trump and Kamala Harris, according to the Deseret, according to the New York Times. Starting up is Nevada, which the New York Times on Deseret has Harris winning Nevada by less than 1%, making Nevada blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Arizona, according to the Deseret, has Trump with a 2% lead over Kamala Harris, a solid 2%, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump. That gives her currently 232 to Donald J. Trump's 230. He's catching up, but can she still win? Let's find out. Then we've got Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes. According to the Deseret, Harris has a less than 1% lead in Wisconsin, giving her the Wisconsinite votes, making it blue for Kamala Harris, giving her a 12 electoral vote lead over Donald J. Trump's 230. Michigan, according to the Deseret, Michigan has Harris leading by less than 1%, giving her the 15 electoral votes, making Michigan blue. This makes her soar to 257 to Donald J. Trump's 230 electoral votes. Up next is Georgia on the bottom right. Trump has a 1% lead, making Georgia red for Donald J. Trump, making him close the gap, but he's still got an 11-vote electoral gap between him and Kamala Harris. Will she win this? It looks like it's pretty solid with the two states remaining, North Carolina and Pennsylvania. So, North Carolina, according to the Deseret, North Carolina has Trump winning by less than 1%, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. That puts him at 262. He takes the lead over Kamala Harris's 257, elect, uh, 257 electoral votes. Now up is Pennsylvania, the deciding state. We have been saying for two months, most people said we're lying, but for two months, we've been saying Pennsylvania will decide the 2024 election. And this looks to be true according to the Deseret and the New York Times. Let's see what they have to say about Pennsylvania. If you're not subscribed right now, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't liked it already, thanks to my wife's comment, like this video and leave a comment. Who do you think is going to win Pennsylvania in 2024? Let's fill it in. According to the New York Times and the Deseret, Harris leads in Pennsylvania by less than 1%, making Pennsylvania blue for Kamala Harris, making Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls the winners of the USA 2024 election. Does this make you happy? Does it make you mad? Let us know in the comments below. Kamala Harris, you have won the 2024 election, according to the Deseret and the New York Times. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.